Welcome to Love Connection, where old-fashioned romance meets modern-day technology, where you hear all the intimate details of a first date. And now, here's the host of Love Connection, Chuck Woolery. Yes. She moved from New York City to Anchorage, Alaska. She was just four years old. She moved here about four years ago. She likes to be mysterious, she says. She... Yeah. We'll meet our next guest. He's a heavy metal musician by night, and while he may not look the part, he describes himself as a computer geek by day. He claims he'll never get married and describes men as dogs and women as cats. Please welcome Stephen Toback. <laughs> Uh, men are dogs. Men are dogs, Chuck. We're, we're easy to please. You know, give us a bowl of food once a day, throw a remote control our way. You know, we're happy. You scratch us on the belly. That's all it takes. Women um, like cats. What women are like cats. They're beautiful. They're cool. They're aloof. They have those eyes that can see right through you. They know when you're lying. They'll come up to you and rub up against your leg and purr, but you rub their fur the wrong way and they'll scratch your eyes out. Man. <laughs> Now, you're just 25, and you're positive you're never going to get married. Never going to get I'm married to my music. It sounds really stupid, but I've committed my entire life to it. And if I find the right girl someday, maybe, but she's probably going to have to get me pregnant first. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a look at the women that Stephen had to choose from. I'm not even going to get into that, okay? Watch closely. You're going to vote again. Here we go. First, there's Sherry. She enjoys watching football and would like to meet a man who will uh, take her motorcycling. So she says that she's had so many boring dates lately that she'd rather stay home and play with her kittens. And Sherry's uh, pretty outspoken on the men and honesty. Men will tell you anything you want to hear <laughs> to get at you. And I learned that right away. My mom and dad, you know, good old mom, tell me what to watch out for. So, and I find it's true. I mean, they say everything you want to hear. So that's when you know that they're lying. <laughs> Next, Tamara, she loves to be uh, the center of attention. She is looking for a bit of a poet, she says. She says that she's too honest on dates, and she believes men often read her the wrong way, and here's more on that. Sometimes guys, you know, if you smile too much or you look at them a certain way, they think you're coming on to them, and it's not that way. I mean, if you have to, I mean, I'm coming on to somebody, they're going to know I'm coming on to them, you know, I'll touch them or do something. But, I don't know, guys tend to always think that and they expect it and if you kiss them then they're like oh i'm gonna get more finally julie she's a beauty school graduate she loves going to disneyland and bar hopping she says that most men simply aren't aggressive enough and here are some of julie's physical requirements i like shoulders about this big and but it doesn't really that isn't the only thing I like about somebody. It's, I have a real variety of tastes. I can have long hair, short hair. They can be tall, short, uh, muscular, thin, just so long as they have a real fun, distinctive personality. Okay, those are the three uh, women that Stephen had to choose from. Time for you to vote. Who do you like best for him? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Okay, Stephen, who'd you pick? I picked Sherry, Chuck. You picked Sherry? She's backstage. Say hello to Sherry Bush. Hi, Sherry. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Good. home back there, and uh, Stephen will tell us about the date. Well, I called her up uh, a couple days before the day, and we talked on the phone for a couple hours. I was a little bit intimidated because she told me about one of the guys she had gone out recently. He's a real bona fide rock star, and here mm -hmm. I am struggling. So I said, well, I'll be as much of a rock stud as I can be and try mm -hmm. to impress her. And we planned a date. We planned a day date in Laguna, and I told her that I was going to rent a car. I was going to rent a Mustang for us because my car doesn't have a front seat in it, so I figured... <laughs> I Any other things he told you about the date, Sherry, besides the car? Um, yeah, he also told me that he was going to rent a hotel room, and he asked if that was okay, so that we could change and shower for dinner, and I said, yes, that was okay, since we know a lot of the same people. And after talking to him for so long, I felt really comfortable with him, so I said it was all right. So it was not to stay overnight, it was just for the convenience of the day. Correct. Good intentions. Oh, good good intentions. intentions. Yeah, we were going to be all sandy and dirty, so okay. I went and picked her up on Saturday. 
So you get down there, and what happens? Okay, so we drive to Laguna, and we get down there, and uh, we decided to take her to Balboa Island. There's a little amusement park there. We oh, take, great there. take the ferry over. It's really gorgeous. And we said, let's take the Fun Zone boat cruise, because how can you go wrong? It's I the have fun no zone. idea. So we cruise around Newport Harbor, and uh, we're out there in the ocean about 10 or 15 minutes, and then she snagged a kiss, Chuck. She did? She <laughs> snagged on right on you. Took me completely by surprise. Took you by surprise? Uh, David, you forgot about the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel was great. We rode the Ferris wheel for a while. And, and he put his arm out. around me. And I put my arm around him. <laughs> so what made you take advantage of him first, Sherry? Well, I looked deep into his eyes, and I could tell he was that shy kind of guy, and I knew that he wanted to kiss me, but was afraid to. So I just planted one on him, and he just kissed me right back. She sounds like somebody writing romance novels, I'm telling you. How did he react to this? Was he comfortable with that? He kissed me right back. It was funny, because I put my hand on his heart, and it was sounding so hard. <laughs> it, was a nice, it was a nice kiss, Chuck. It, it, it was okay. So now you go to dinner. So we go to dinner. We, we leave Alboa, drive down to Laguna, and uh, went, to, went to dinner, and we had one of my favorite Mexican restaurants in South Laguna. But it was hard even to concentrate on the meal. I just kept staring at her all through dinner. Mm. And, uh, well, it was, it was getting pretty late. We went dancing after that for a while. But I had rehearsal the next day. I had to get up pretty early, and I had to return the rental car. So we packed everything back in the car, drove home all in the 405. It was so romantic at night, <laughs> holding hands, you know. And I took her to her apartment. I dropped her off. And uh, she invited me up, but I, I knew if I went up, I'd never leave. And I really had to get up. So we got a long good kiss good night really nice and a big hug and i didn't know how i was going to stand the five weeks uh, before the show but we did we said our goodbyes and i drove off into the sunset and here you are and here i am today well, let's take a look and get over this quick the audience quick. oh they missed oh they missed they got julie 60 percent People. It just means we won't pay for it, but you can do what you like. Well, I think I can spring for it. Sherry, would you like to go out with me again? I would love to. Come on out. very much. You're welcome. Yeah, that's great. That's very, there's a little card here. Do you yes. Know, can I read this? Absolutely. I hardly know what to, somebody find a, somebody find a large fruit jar for those. Of course, it's sealed, you know, tightly. You have to rip it open, right? And the winner is? And the winner is? Thank you. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. That's short and sweet. Yeah, thank you. Stay in touch. Will you do that? Absolutely. She's going to come right back with the next guest. Stay with us.